Okay, guys, we've got an interesting one here. Didn't think I'd be called out for this. We've got an O3 Explorer, okay? Now watch, we don't have a key in, okay? No key. So I just pulled the boot off here because I wanted to see if I could see the shift in a lock, but look at this. Like, I don't even have to have my foot on the brake. We can just pull it all down. Like, there's nothing here. Well, like, the gears are all here. It goes into every gear when I start it up. But you don't even have to press the brake. You don't have to have the key in ignition. Whoops. Keys on the floor now. But yeah. Nothing. So I'm going to drop down the panel underneath and we'll see if we can test this. Uh, shift in a lot because what they're worried about is say like a kid's in the car. Just hits the shifter. Like all you got to do is pull it towards you and then boom it's moving. So we're going to try to get this cover off here and everything and we'll try to get, get it apart. Okay guys, so I think this is the shift interlock pin. See right here. And if you look. See that? It pushes it right down. But also it's not centered. So you can pull this straight down. Like even if I hold up on the pin. Let's see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit better. Let's see. You'll see it like kind of like misses it. You don't see much movement. It pushes it to the side a little bit. Like it's not straight up and down. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know if it can be adjusted. Or what. But it also goes straight down. Like there's nothing stopping it from moving. Because right here is the tab you press I think to get it out of gear. Let's zoom out. So like if your battery's dead you can just push up on this and it'll pull it down. But for some reason, it's not centered. Oh, is there a tab there? Looks like there might be a tab there. So maybe it's not going up high enough. Because I tried pushing on this, but it didn't go that far. Unless there's something in there. Preventing it. I'll have to look at it more. Maybe there's something preventing it from going up all the way, and that's the whole problem. I'll have to see if I could disconnect an electrical connector for it, too. See if maybe there's an electrical connector that is constantly pulling it down. Because I know there's like a TSB or something for this. For people installing aftermarket stuff. And there was aftermarket stuff installed in here. Because a lot of this wire is like chewed up. So maybe somebody tried to disable it. Like, you see there's tape here, like, I think somebody had a remote start in here at one point. So we could have an issue where something's just not put in right, like... Or they had an issue because they didn't install it right. And now we're fighting... ...a problem that they did on purpose. So... So guys, remember how I said about somebody doing it on purpose? Look at that, there's a zip tie around it to make the interlock not work. And you couldn't see it because it was rotated. I just spun it because it was actually on the back side like that. And then I couldn't see it. You can see it better on the camera, but you can't see it from like right here. But yeah, there's a zip tie. And as you can see, they didn't make it low enough because it was causing wear. Look at that. There we go. So now I gotta try to figure out how to get that off of there. Like, how do you get a zip tie off? That's that close. Uh, where are we at? Let's see. There we go. crazy so guys I got it I got these new flush mount uh, side cutters from Harbor Freight they're really cheap but they seem to be made pretty well for like cutting zip ties and stuff that's what that's why I got them cutting zip ties and wire but now if you look there's nothing on that pin so I just used the tip of my test light to hold the pin down so I cut that zip tie. Let's pull this out. Oh, look at that, guys. 
Oh, look at that. Now, now here's a real question. Is this even gonna work? When I press the brake? It does work. So it doesn't move, press the brake. Look at that. No movement, press the brake. Oh, this is awesome, guys. working flawlessly I just can't believe that I happened to say that somebody might have engineered a problem in here now look at that so there you go if your shift interlock doesn't work and it allows you to pull the shifter anytime make sure there's not a zip tie on it I'll show you guys the other wires that I got to fix real quick so this is what I came into like you had these ones up here that are wrapped in tape not too big of a deal but when you come down here, uh, let's see. Well, there's some that are in tape. Where's the damaged ones? I think this actually might be part of the damaged one. Oh, you can see them up here. Like right there, like there are some that are right here. I'm gonna just put some liquid electrical tape on this because they're not paying me to fix any of this stuff, but at least it should be better than the way it is. Cause like they didn't even wrap tape over this stuff. They just cut the whole remote start out and just left it go. So I just I'm just not getting paid to fix all this. So they just want me to fix the interlock. But at least I can do something to help them out with the rest of this stuff. Or you know what? Maybe I'll just get tape, cause tape will be easier. I'll have to see what's easier. But I gotta get this stuff back together now. Okay guys, so I got them wrapped up the best I can with what I have. Like, all I have is this high temp, uh, I think it's high temp 3M tape because I use it for engine bay harnesses. But it's more like plastic, it doesn't, like it's real sticky like normal 3M tape. But it's more like a plastic. So it doesn't, it's not easy to wrap. Let's make sure this works. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. There we go, now it locked. This is perfect, guys. Oops, I have to like, wait a second. There we go. Perfect. But yeah, I use this, oh no, it's scotch brand. But it's high temp, it's supposed to handle uh, maybe this ain't high temp. I thought it was high temp. 3M scotch. Um, it says 105 C. It says 212 degrees. But I thought this was my high temp one. I don't know why I feel so plasticky. But usually the stuff that I use is rated for like 400 degrees or something like that. But, hope you guys like it. See you later.